welcome back to the channel. The KDE project has just released KDE Plasma 6.1.4, the fourth stable update in the KDE Plasma 6.1 series. This update brings a slew of improvements and bug fixes that will make your desktop experience smoother and more enjoyable. So, let's break it down. For those of you who may be new here, let's start with a quick introduction. KDE Plasma is a modern desktop environment for Linux system. It's known for its slick design, high customizability and a rich set of features. KDE Plasma is loved by many because it allows you to tailor your desktop exactly to your liking, whether you prefer a minimalist setup or a fully featured environment. Let's start by looking at some of the key improvements in this release. First up, the KDE team has made resizing Plasma widgets much smoother. Plasma widgets are small apps that you can place on your desktop or panels like a clock, weather forecast or system monitor. With this update, when you resize these widgets, the transition is much smoother, making your desktop look and feel more polished. Next, they've improved the scaling of the textual list style group pop-up in Plasma Task Manager. The Task Manager is the bar at the bottom of your screen where you can see all your open applications. The pop-up that appears when you group multiple windows together now scales properly, ensuring everything looks neat and organized. KRunner, which is the versatile search and command launcher in KDE Plasma, has also received some love. They've refined how KRunner matches text to system settings pages. Now, it's less aggressive about showing system setting pages for search with a very weak match. This means you'll get more relevant search results, making it easier to find what you need. KWIN is the window manager for KDE Plasma, and it controls how Windows behave and appears on your screen. In this update, KWIN has seen several important improvements. With KDE Plasma 6.1.4, KWIN now ensures that Windows title bar is always visible, even if the Windows minimum height is taller than your screen. This small change makes managing Windows much easier. Another cool update for KWIN is that it can now run with real-time capabilities on your system using the most library, such as Alpine Linux. This is more of a technical improvement, but it means better performance and responsiveness for those using these systems. Additionally, they have disabled 10 bit per color, in short BPC, support for monitors plugged into a dock. While high color depth can improve image quality, it was causing issues for some users with docked monitors. This change should make things more stable for those users. Now, let's talk about the numerous bug fixes included in this release. Bug fixes may not sound exciting, but they are crucial for a smooth and stable user experience. KDE Plasma 6.1.4 addresses a variety of bugs, making your desktop environment more reliable. One of the notable fixes is for the free space notifier. Previously, it was flagging read-only nearly full partitions on immutable distributions like Fedora Keynote. This was incorrect and could cause unnecessary concern. The update fixes this, ensuring that the notifier only flags partitions that actually need attention. If you ever experience a random plasma crash, you know how disruptive it can be. The KDE team has fixed a common out of the blue plasma crash in this update so your desktop environment should be more stable. Another significant fix is for a crash in the KWIN window manager on the X11 display server. This crash occurs when disabling and enabling compositing, which is a feature that controls Windows transparency and effects. With this fix, users should see fewer crashes when managing their windows. The update also includes fixes for issues with Plasma centered, scaled and cropped wallpaper positioning modes. These modes were causing images of certain size to be displayed incorrectly on some screen scales. Now, your wallpaper should look just as you expect them to, regardless of your screen scale. Power Devil, the power management demon in the KDE Plasma, had a bug that caused it to crash after the system went to sleep due to inactivity. This has been fixed, ensuring better power management and fewer disruptions when your system wakes up from sleep. In Plasma 6.0, there was a regression that made the remove this item hover icon in KRunner's history invisible. 
This made it hard to manage your search history. The latest update restores these icons, making it easier to keep your search history clean. Another bug fix addresses an issue with multi-row task manager widgets. These widgets were taking up too much space on plasma panels that use the feed to content size mode. The update corrects this, so your task manager widgets will now fit neatly on your panels. Folder view is a widget that allows you to view and manage files and folders directly on your desktop. The update fixes three Plasma 6 porting regressions in folder view that caused the widget to lose its custom title feature. Now you can again customize the title of your folder view widget. Kwin's new triple buffering feature, which was intended to improve performance, was causing stuttering for some users. The latest update fixes this issue, ensuring a smoother experience without the annoying stutter. There was an issue with dragging screenshot and other files from Plasma Notification into Chromium-based apps. This has been fixed, making it easier to use drag and drop functionality between notification and applications. The update also fixes an issue that prevents Flatpak, Sandboxed and Portal using apps from requesting to inhibit system sleep. This means these apps can now properly keep your system awake when needed, preventing interruption during important tasks. Plasma Discover, the software manager tool in KDE Plasma, has received several improvements as well. Various alerts and information items on the description page of certain apps were appearing incorrectly. This update fixes those display issues, making the app pages more readable and informative. The first letter of the name of non-SPDX compatible license was being cut off when displayed on an apps page. This has been corrected, ensuring that license information is displayed accurately. Plasma Discover was also prone to crashes on distributions built with assets turned on, such as KDE Neon. The update resolves these crashes, making Plasma Discover more stable. Lastly, there are some improvements to the system setting app in the KDE Plasma. When changing the current system-wide time zone, the system settings apps now quits properly. This ensures that the changes take effect smoothly without any lingering issues. When moving widgets on plasma panels to another screen edge, they will sometimes become interactive before you left edit mode. This has been fixed, so widgets will no longer behave inappropriately during editing. So, there you have it. KDE Plasma 6.1.4 brings a host of improvements and bug fixes that make the desktop environment more polished, stable and enjoyable to use. If you're already using KDE Plasma 6.1, be sure to check your Linux distribution stable repository for KDE Plasma 6.1.4 packages and update your system as soon as possible. If you're new to KDE Plasma, now is a great time to give it a try and experience all the awesome features it has to offer. And as always, thanks for watching, if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates and tutorials. Let us know in the comments what you think about KDE Plasma 6.1.4 and what feature you're most excited about. See you on the next one.